I'd like to welcome you to the Ribbon Cutting and Grand Opening for the uh, Public Safety Complex. The Police Department, which is to my right, and I must say this is one beautiful, beautiful complex. And it was paid for by all of the citizens of Sumter County and those who passed through Sumter paying for the paying with the penny for progress uh, sales tax. The police department is a 36,000 square foot facility located right there at 335 North Lafayette Drive. It also houses the state-of-the-art 911 communication center that serves all first responder agencies here in Sumter. The building allows for future growth and technological advancements in the decades to come. Previously, the department and 911 Southern were housed at 107 East Hampton Avenue. The first floor was only 19,000 square feet. It was built in the 1970s, with the second floor added in the 1980s. The Sumter Fire Department, located to my left, is a new 21,600 square foot Sumter Fire Department headquarters. The previous headquarters was at 129 East Hampton Street. It was built in the 1960s could no longer support the growing number of firefighters and the equipment needs of the department. It includes a fitness room, a kitchen, and boy, can those guys and ladies cook, and the training area. So thank you all for the citizens of Sumter for contributing to uh, paying for and the construction of this beautiful complex. I think you all will admit that is, this is one beautiful addition to this side of town, which hopefully and should bring some new economic development opportunities to this area of the city and county. We thank you for the culmination of a vision that has been a long time in making. We lift up to you our firefighters and our police officers, men and women that put their lives on the line every day for our protection. It's in their name we pray. Let everybody who know and love the Lord this morning say amen. amen. I just want to say that this complex, I believe, is a testament to what has been a growing character for Sumter. And that is working together. What you see here is city and county leaders, not just elected leaders, all leaders, coming together and deciding we need to invest in ourselves if we're going to grow and if we're going to have the things in our community we want and we need. 